but here I am on a St. Charles Street car on Canal Street. I'm on my way to Mary Sherman's apartment at 3101 St. Charles Avenue. There was an accident on St. Charles Avenue, and so the streetcars are stopped. The traffic seems to be stopped here, and there's this crazy guy in the middle of the street. Say, so talk to me. So, just my luck. The first time I ever got a streetcar, for less than half a block, and we're stuck here in traffic, right around the corner here at the beginning of corner of St. Charles and Canal Street, apparently around the corner some sort of accident, emergency vehicles there, traffic has stopped. So there's the, the cable car I just got off of, and I got off at 8th and uh, St. Charles. I need to find 3101. This looks like 3000. So I'm going to need to be on the 3100 block up here. Cross over here. And I think it's on the left side of the street. Odd number. I don't know. Just guessing. There's 3102. Oh, opposite side of the street, 3101. There it is. There it is. 3101. Yes, I've seen this in the pictures. I'm gonna run across here. Right here, 3101. This is where Mary Sherman lived. And I don't have the book on me, or else I would tell you which apartment it was. One of these apartments is not completely burned, but charred from the inside. A fire was started on the inside, and she, her body was found. Very interesting state. She was naked and covered in clothes that were set on fire. And her, I think it was her left arm, her right arm, or left arm, one of the arms, was completely disintegrated. Uncharacteristic of a fire like that. So the theory is that she was killed or died of an accident elsewhere. And her body was transported. Back here, it was made to look like an accident. Or, oh, I'm sorry, it made, it made to look like a murder that happened in her apartment. Downstairs. Oh, there's room number. See, there's room numbers right there. Ten, eleven. And on the lower level. Lower level numbers are not there. Oh. Oh yes, there's four. And this number oh, one, one, two, three. Interesting. Mary Sherman, Dr. Mary Sherman. This is where she was found. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I'm gonna walk around the other side as well. Okay, this is the back side of her building. There's actually Kind of a nice area. I think this is called the Garden District, but uh, historical. Older houses are kept nice. Nice stone sidewalk. Very old, but. Yeah, I, know. I, th I don't think it was too far from here that a car was found and her keys were found to the car. Okay, from uh, 3101 St. Charles Avenue, where Mary Sherman. Lived. I'm headed to uh, 1233 Connery Street, where her keys were found. It's about a half a mile from her 
four tenths of a mile from her apartment. And then not far from there is where her car was found. I think I'm gonna go there afterwards. But it's a kind of a nice historic district. Historic and yet upscale. Very nice. So uh, very apropos for a doctor. Especially a famous female doctor up and coming in the world on her way to be make a name for herself. Make a left of Chestnut Street. Yeah, but very nice uh, houses. Wow. Very nice. Bitty bitty nice. So, uh, even if you're not interested in Mary Sherman, this is a very interesting walk. But I do suggest you all read Dr. Mary's Monkey, the book about secret cancer research that she was doing and her mysterious death and unsolved murder. Very nice. And like I uh, showed you right there at the, the 8th Street and uh, St. Charles um, cable car stop. She's right there where her apartment was, stone's throw. Look out her front door and there's the bus stop right there, or the cable car stop. So it's very convenient from there to get into downtown area. All right, from uh, 8th Street, I'm taking left here on Chestnut and walking down this road here. Very nice. in a historic kind of a way. You know, where there's the old you know, brick sidewalks and some signs of wabi and sabi, as they say in Japanese. Sort of that kind of... and decay of, of time. Okay. Now I'll cross out on Chestnut and 6th, crossing 6th. I'm going to turn right at Connery and look for 1233, I think it was. 1233 Connery. And I'm going to look for those keys now. <laughs> this kind of activity very satisfying historic district looking for something important relatively rather than the tourist trappy places I'm seeing the real side of places and in this case New Orleans a nice little garden nice little front garden here not a name. Hold it, maybe it does. That's 1233, but whether it's Connery or not, that is the question. That is Connery Street right here. It's, it's labeled on the concrete, but not even on the sidewalk. 
but not on the street sign. So this is it. Somewhere around here is where her car keys were found. Imagine that. Okay, the next place we're gonna go is where her uh, car was found. So it's a couple blocks over. I'm gonna punch that in in a second. You can see really they dropped her car off there and walked a few blocks to here. And uh, 1230 feet Connor here. Now when they say found her keys here, probably on the sidewalk or in the bushes. Can't remember what the book said. Okay, this is all starting to make sense now. Okay, so where I turned here, Chestnut and Connery, this is the corner here. This is where the keys were dropped. The next location is 2600 Chestnut, which is just a block or two down to the right here. So that's where we're gonna do a walk down there. And what a what an atmosphere down here. Uh, much more quiet and uh, uh, we're walking in the reverse order that whoever committed the crime would have dropped her car off down the road here and walked back from the direction I'm coming, walked to the direction I'm coming from, crossing Washington Avenue. Alrighty. Okay. So I'm on the 2700 block. Just the next block is the 2600 block, and that was where the car would be found over there, where those cars are. Or on the other side of the street. But anyways, I'm walking that direction. Walking, walking, walking. Just not straight. Okay. Again, it's the same nice, you know, established neighborhood. You know, 26, 29 here, so somewhere along these streets here. Left side, right side, I'm not sure. But somewhere along here. Poor Mary Sherman's car was left. Most likely it was her body was transported separately and somebody brought the car over here to just get rid of it and, and drop the keys down where I came from at Connery Street. Interesting. I've still got some daylight. Let's see what is left on my list of Mary Sherman related or Lee Harvey Oswald related sites that I can see. back to St. Charles Avenue and I'm going to try to get to Jim Garrison's gravesite today. Fabulous mansion. On the corner here of where am I? Coliseum and Third. Look at this. It's fabulous. Looks like it's worthy of one of our founding fathers. <laughs> I'm at the, uh, the Georgian Apartments at 2233 St. Charles Avenue. I thought it was an interesting building. Look, Ivy or something like Ivy, all the way completely covering the whole front of this building. That was pretty fabulous looking. So here I am at the corner of uh, Canal Street and Exchange Place, right? Get my Popeye's chicken, and I'm right behind the Wyndham Hotel where I'm staying. Anyways, this is the alley where I have second confirmation now. Where uh, Lee Harvey Oswald lived, uh, like a second or third floor apartment above a pool hall, which is I think 125 Exchange Place. Which is probably somebody commented and said it was one with the arches, and there's a couple, couple down there, but I think this would be the one. 125 and he lived above here. One source said that uh, I found online it was 
probably incorrect. He said that he lived here as a baby. But then another source said when he was 16 years old, and then I had that confirmed when I met a classmate of Lee Harvey Oswald on a plane, and he said he came down here and would hang out with Lee Harvey Oswald. They weren't close friends, but on occasion they drove their bicycles down here, and he had been in the house, and they played pool down here in the, uh, apparently, in the pool halls around here. They weren't too strict, and they would let young kids in there, in the back of the pool hall. Anyways, exchange place. There we go. All right, now you know the rest of the story.